everything old is new again. America's entertainment pop culture talk show. It may well possess a rudimentary intelligence. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Well, the great disturbance in the force. Hello, I'm Mr. Ray. Come on, Mark, I got a job for me. Meet me. Where's the goodies? Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I bet you wouldn't have done anything like this if Mom and Dad were here. You filthy criminal. Excuse me while I whip this out. Go ahead. Make my day. Here are your hosts, Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. This is Bradford Wells. Welcome to the continuation of Everything Old is New Again, Summer Barbecue. With summer in full swing, our regular host, Douglas Viviani and David Cohen, thought it best to take a break from hosting the show to host a barbecue. This week, we continue the fun with some very special guests in attendance. Peter Weller, Paul Sorvino, the amazing Kreskin from the love boat, Bernie Capel, and even Gorn from Star Trek, Bobby Clark, is here. With the boys enjoying the festivities, who's better than the barbecue guy and fondue guy to host the show? They are both in attendance at our Everything Old is New Again barbecue. Here they are, barbecue guy and fondue guy. Ah, there you go. It's great to hear you. Great to, I love that introduction. I don't know who that guy is. I never heard of that guy before. Bradford Wells. Bradford, it's good to hear from you. I love to have you in, in, introduce me anytime I walk into a party, anytime I'm invited to a party. Uh, even, uh, you know, you might want to introduce me to dinner when I come to dinner at home or from work. It would be nice to have a little introduction before I walk in the door. You're a good kid. I tell you. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Where is your partner, Fonduga? I don't know. The guy's walking around. I asked him to go get me a napkin, a towel, I should say. My head is sweating over here. It's hot outside. I'm barbecuing. You heard me eating a barbecue before. We had some nice barbecue recipes. They're continuing this barbecue. Viviani and, uh, and Cohen, they're out and about out there and enjoying the barbecue. It's just a question now of me uh, saying to you, listen, as far as I'm concerned, there's a lot of kids here. You hear the kids there in the background? There are a lot of children. Yes, you hear their voices. It's a little difficult sometimes to deal with the kids the barbecue. Well, they are kids. I know, but I'll tell you, could, you got a pool, just put them in the pool and let them stay in the pool. I can't take it around the barbecue. It's difficult. They, it, there's the flames going on. There's all kind of stuff you got to be careful with. They may touch the food, drop it on the floor. Then I got to do the five-second rule. You know that whole thing. Kids can be a nuisance. They can be. I'll tell you what. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, we're having a great little time here. I'm going to see if I can find the barbecue uh, uh, recipes that, you know, you're going to be good for the summer. But besides that, I mean, I got to tell you, there's a lot lot of people here i'm pretty interested in hearing about i mean uh I, you know this guy this, this peter weller guy i do yes i'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna walk over to him and just see uh, what he has to say for himself i think he's talking to this guy from the love boat you remember that show bernie capel yeah, let, let's hear what they have to say for themselves i don't know if they're talking let's just let, overhear them till we get that fondue back let's see what happens here. May, i may not be the most interesting man in the world but i'm one of them This is Bernie Coppell, also known as Siegfried from Get Smart. You understand? Good. <laughs> oh, wow. I tell you what, that Peter Well is thirsty dude, huh? We got to walk away from them. I don't know what they're going to say next, but looks like, uh, I don't know, they, uh, they're introducing each other to themselves. They got, uh, it does sound like it was something that would be good uh, to listen to. I don't know. It sounded interesting in the beginning, but I found it quite boring. It was like two uh, two guys, a monologue, typical Hollywoodmen. The two guys, they they got their own thing. They're very work. much into their own exactly. Hollywood world. Speaking of which, here comes the Fondue man. Fondue guy, you coming back? I don't. You went, where'd you go? You disappeared on us here. I got the uh, ca- uh, accoutrements that you requested. Right, you got the clams. You got the clams with the lemon and the uh, and the garlic butter. You got that recipe. I know we want to get the. So I know you brought a little something to the table this time for the recipes. I know it's not a fondue, but it's a pretty simple uh, recipe. Uh, maybe I'll throw it to you and say, fondue man, tell me what you do at a barbecue for a little recipe for an appetizer. I'm going to call it grilled clams and lemon garlic butter. Uh, that's right. That's exactly what it is. It, it, well, yeah. okay. Let's see you do it. Come on. Let's have a well, big bang, big bang, boom. Chop, I mean, chop. I, I can, I can tell you how to prepare them. Is the, that what you're I, I, the barbecue's on. The fire's on. The flames going ready. I'm starving. Let's get going. What do we do? First, I'm going to take uh, half a cup of unsalted butter uh, at room temperature. Oh boy. Half of a small shallot, finely chopped. Okay. 
Move two it. tablespoons of finely chopped fresh chives, mm. as you can see here. I've also added two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh, fresh parsley, two teaspoons of finely grated lemon zest, kosher salt, and freshly ground black pepper. I didn't pepper. want what, what, what? Come on, Bobby Clark, this what are you interrupting me? What do you want? For what? everything old and new me. again. Right up and and the nostalgic look to the future. All right, there you go. Hey, Bobby Clark, let me give you a drink here, and please, have some chips. Give me a break. We got a little on the air here, okay? Come on. Bob, Bob, back off. Bobby Clark, back. This is the guy that played the Gorn. You ever see the Gorn? You ever see Star Trek? I have not. You have his, he's eating like a Gorn. He's a, look, listen to this guy. Bobby, back Do you know what it's like to be on the air, Bobby? Bobby, we can't take this. Uh, uh, all right, back off, please. Back off. Okay, here you go. He's Grill the clams. Off. Yes. Then take basil and parsley leaves, and that, that's for serving later. He lost his attention. He's gone. Go ahead. Okay, now I'm mixing the butter, the shallot, the chives, and the parsley in a small bowl. I'm adding the lemon zest, and I'm mixing. What's a lemon zest? What do you mean lemon zest? You just squeeze a lemon in there, right? What do you got? It's not really the lemon juice. What you want to do with... Is to take a lemon. This is not fine dining. Could you come on? We got to get going here, please. And grate the lemon, the outside. So the, of the outside lemon. of the lemon, the stuff that's in the truck, rolling around the back of the truck, the dirty, filthy outside peel of the lemon. That's what I'm eating now. Well, first you properly wash the lemon before you zest it. Well, how do you wash it properly? Salt and pepper. What are you doing? A little warm water and warm soap water. Would be okay. Fine. Yeah. Right. Now what? So I'm adding the lemon zest, and I'm mixing it, and now I'm seasoning it with the salt and the pepper. Now I'm adding the butter mixture to oh boy, the bowl. Bobby, Bobby Clark, Clark is back. Bobby, Bobby. New again. I know. Add what? the nostalgic look I think he's to had a little future. too much to drink, this guy. He's having another beer. Bobby boy. Bobby, hold up. Hold up with the beer. Let me have that beer. Oh, boy. This guy is something. Whew. This is like the perpetual leak in a keg, this guy. See you later, Bob. Take off, please. Love you. Take care. Talk to Peter Weller. I'll tell you how interesting he is. Go ahead. Now I'm adding the butter mixture to the bowl with the grill. When do we get to the barbecue? And I'm tossing it. Uh, just do we to put anything on the barbecue? Now I'm transferring it to a serving platter, and I'm topping it with the basil and parsley from oh before. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, just so you know, uh, just for planning ahead, the butter mixture can be made four days ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm going to plan four days for a barbecue. Leave it in there. Right. Bring Good to, idea. Bring to room temperature yeah, before serving. Yeah, room temperature. It's hot as blazes out. It's nothing room temperature out here. You kidding? And it's 98 degrees out. Room temperature. Here what we room are. are you living in? What are you living in? The YMCA with the windows closed? By the way, if you haven't noticed, I've chosen to ignore you today. So... Here you are with the tossed hot clams as requested. I understand. Right off the yeah, Bobby, Clark holy smokes. Everything smoke. old is new again. And the nostalgic look Even I can't control future. this guy. Who invited Bobby Clark? Bobby Clark? What's his name again? Bobby it, Clark. Sound like the hockey guy when you say it like that. I just feel if I don't completely 100% laser focus on the ingredients in my recipes, I will lose my mind. We're putting something on the grill at some point. You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Bobby, back I'm, off, Bobby. I'm showing it to you. It's right here. What? And? Tossed hot clams. Okay. Throw. When did you put it on the barbecue? I didn't even need a barbecue. I barbecued them before. They were grilled clams. Oh, so you just, you, you wait till the, you put them on the grill, you wait till they snap open, you pull them out, and you pour this goop on it, and you serve it. Is that right? You call it goop, I call it seasoning, but yes. I mean, this could have been done in like, I don't know, 30 seconds. You took a whole segment here at the barbecue to talk about opening up a couple of clams on my, a grill. My next recipe. Oh, no, no, no. no. All right, keep going. Well, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll be back. And everything old is new again with the fine do guy and the barbecue guy at the barbecue celebrating everything old is new again with our prior guests. A lot of fun. Bobby Clark, please give us a break. I need some potato chips. You got the chips? We'll go with it. How about a beer? Everything old is new again. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. All I can tell you is that 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 Bobby Clark. He's. I mean, do you invite that guy back? That is. Yeah, what do you I, think? I I thought he's quite rude. You did. Yeah. He just came over three times, stuck his hand into that that uh, cooler, grabbed the beer, opens it, pours it, drinks it, picks a handful of chips, starts chewing them right in my ear while you're trying to talk to me. The barbecue's going, but there's nothing on the barbecue because all you can talk about is the the recipe of making this goop that you're putting on top of it. It's basically what is it? Garlic and uh, and butter. You're pouring it on a clam. What's so hard about it? 
there's really nothing difficult about it, but you would ask me to explain the recipe, and that's what I did. It's, that was my first problem. You're exactly also, right. That was my first mistake. Why is Bobby Clark repeating the same thing over and over? <laughs> Every time he stops by, he I, says the exact same. I think he had a little too much to drink. I really do. I don't know what's wrong this with that. This is Bobby Clark oh, for Bobby. old is new again. Bobby, a break. the nostalgic look to the future. Yeah, because he made up that nostalgic look stuff. Here, he goes, he does, he's going another one. He made up this nostalgic look to the future. He thinks that's what we should be saying about our show. So, Bobby, please back off, please. Go take a dip in the pool, will you? Well, he may drown in the pool, actually, at this stage. Yeah. Would you like to hear my recipe for toasted marshmallow, oh, I think we're run out of time. and banana sticks with yes, chocolate little, fondue? Oh, boy. Later on today, we'll do that. All right, Bobby, please back off. We'll be back, and everything old is new again right after this. So I guess we'll give a little nod to uh, Bobby Clark here with the Star Trek. We'll be right back. Everything old. Now, back to America's Entertainment Pop Culture Talk Show. Everything old is new again with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I want to buy eight hot dogs and eight hot dog buns to go with them. But no one sells eight hot dog buns. They only sell 12 hot dog buns. So I end up paying for four buns I don't need. So I am removing the... Oh, he's removing uh, something there. If the clip got cut off, he's removing. Well, you remember this movie, The Father of the Bride? There, find two men. I have to admit something to you. You never saw it. I've been drinking heavily. Oh, boy. Oh, this is like, now I'm interested. Drinking what? Lemonade? I got your lemonade. It looks like I'm drinking lemonade there. What is that? I thought it was lemonade, but now the feeling that is taking over me right now uh, indicates that there might have been something alcoholic in it. Uh, you know, I, I apologize. You were going to drink that wine that you brought from the airport, from uh, if you remember that. Yes. So I drank all of that on you. So I guess you, you resort to drinking up that hard. It's called hard lemonade. You ever hear the word hard lemonade? No, it means hard lemonade. What does it mean to say hard lemonade? Yes. I've what does heard, it mean, hard? I've heard of it, and now I am... So what does it mean when you say hard lemonade? I guess that means it was spiked with... Yeah, some, there's a little something in there. you got to really be careful for yourself there, brother. So I yeah. can't vouch for my uh, okay. contribution to the, to the show. It might be the best appearance you ever made at this point on the show. I would say that to you. Yes, no, maybe... Did I ever tell you about that time when... Oh, no. All right, listen. Before we get to that time, I want to talk to you about making some barbecue ribs for the barbecue. What do you like, a barbecue rib? You ever hear of a barbecue rib? I could eat some meat right now. All right. This is what we're going to do. I took the ribs in a nice... And you don't separate them. The ribs go together. All right? You understand what I'm saying to you when I say together? The ribs stay together. You got me? Can I together. have some now? No, they're not cooked yet. What we're gonna, what you're gonna do is we put them in the oven for about a half hour. They cook that way, right? I can't wait for half an hour. I've already done it. It's pre-cooked. Now they're on the table here. What we do is we put them on the grill. You hear them cooking on the grill like that? I hear something sizzling. Is that in my head or is that actually happening? That's in your head. Before that is your head. In a minute, if you don't be quiet, I'll put your head right on there. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is what we got to do. We put we put the. Uh, we put the, the, the meat on the, on there, but before we put the meat on there, what we do is we lace it with Smoky Joe's barbecue sauce. You heard this? Smoky Joe's sauce. It sounds very The good. Smoky Joe's sauce. Because I'll tell you what. It sounds This very is going to be perfect. Good. You may be asleep by the time this recipe is over. No, over. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. All right. So Smoky Joe's, you put it on there. Now, since... The meat is already cooked, you see. Now we're just doing this for some a little bit of flavor. Your caramelization of the Smoky Joe's sauce, you see, is cooking over a low flame on the barbecue. Why are you pronouncing your L's like that suddenly? A low flame. A low, fl low flame. It's what you got to do when you... When you're, you're a funny individual. Thank you. This is what... what funny looking. I know everybody talks about the looks. I know it's, it's because I got planted one day playing football uh, head first into the goalpost. That's what happened there I'm, years you, ago. You go ahead. I'm, I'm going to get some more lemonade. All right, go get some lemonade. Matter of fact, while you're doing that, uh, what I'd like for you to do is uh, give me a little idea as to what is happening with Paul Savina. All right? I mean, Paul's having a nice time over there. Which one's Paul serving? Paul's, the guy's singing. There he is. You hear him? You're getting close. Oh, okay. Hey, Paulie boy, you're sounding good. How are you, Paulie? 
what do you think of Paul singing? Pandu men, you like the barbecue? You like that uh, aura he's playing out there? I feel like I'm in the middle of some really bad Fellini movie. I don't even know who Fellini is. You talk, who's Fellini? What do you mean, Fellini? What's a Fellini? Did you try the lemonade? It's quite tasty. I think Savino's had a little bit of that lemonade. Pauly Boy, you're sounding good. He's in full voice. I thought you would have liked that. It sounded like a little bit of opera there. Yeah, sure. So, Pauly, sounds good to you. Are those ribs ready? The ribs aren't ready yet. We're turning them over constantly every 30 seconds so you don't burn them. You, you got the Smoky Joe's, the Smoky Joe's barbecue sauce. You know what where I'm saying? Did, Smoky where, Joe's. Where, where, where did you learn about all these barbecue recipes? It's a lot of experience, a lot of hit and miss, a lot of bad dates with the bar, in front of the barbecue. You go to the barbecues with your buddies. You tell you what they have in the barbecue. What's your, what's your real name? I'm called Fandu. You no. know, I'm the fondue guy. Right. What is your real name? Oh, you want to... No, I'm not going to tell you my real name because I need to be anonymous. You know why? Because I get too many people calling me for the recipes. I don't want to get involved with recipes. All I want to do is have a little fun. How about you? Oh, Polly boy. Oh, boy. Everybody... This is some barbecue. Can I get a word in edgewise, Paul Savino? How about a grilled pineapple recipe? Paul, can you do me... Paul... All right. We don't want to interrupt him, I guess, huh? I, I have another recipe here if you want me to read it. What do you got? What kind of recipe you got? It's... Paulie, could you step or let... Paul. Oh, boy. Paul, do me a favor. Back off a little bit. We're doing the show here. All right. Great finale. Love it. Oh, boy. He's bringing down a house, this guy, boy. Woo! All right, Paulie. Now, please, take it over to somewhere else. We're recording here live. Go ahead. Barbecue man. I mean, fondue man. This is this is raspberry raspberry ice. Oh boy! Do you want to? I can read this. Sounds like a dessert. We haven't gotten it, to dessert yet, but if you want to try it, feel free. It's the total time of four hours and thirty minutes. Okay. Do you have four to, hours for, and thirty minutes to cook? So, what for me? An ice? It's that's what. The what are you is. taking it from water to ice? We got to wait for it to icicle. In a small saucepan, combine a cup of water and a half of cup of sugar, and you bring it to a boil, and you let it. Cool. Oh boy. Okay. So nice and cool. Right. And then in a blender. Get to it, Fonduman. You're driving me insane you here. Puree three cups of raspberries with the sugar syrup. You strain into a loaf pan, and then you freeze it at least four hours. This is some kid. This Fondue guy. And huh? I've done it. I've done it already. It's ready. You got to stop with that. That took four hours. No, I I I, I pre-planned it. All right, I appreciate that. It's very good. And Thank then, you very much. It's refreshing. I'm adding, I'm adding a half a cup of heavy cream oh boy. to I got it. something going on here. And here now, now, try it. Try it. Try it. I, it's, try I, it. I got to take the ribs Eat off. It. Try a Here's raspberry ice. I work all oh, day just, on you, this. You just spilled... Yeah, all day. You just spilled the raspberry ice on my rib. Now you got a nice ice rib going on. You want an ice rib? Have just a, a nice rib. Can you take me to the bathroom? Uh, Leo, Leo, take him to the bathroom. We have my little guy. Can you little, take me to the bathroom? Yeah, he's got to get. Show him where the bathroom is, Leo. Would you please? All right. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. He's feeling dizzy because he's a little. He's kind of dopey. This guy. I'll show you where the bathroom. Okay. All right, there he goes. All right. Now, as far as I'm concerned. This is what happens at a barbecue. You have a lot of fun. People are just enjoying themselves. They're letting loose. You have a little barbecue. As long as you're not driving, you want to have a little beer, you want to have a little fun, there's nothing wrong with that. All I got to say to you is, Paul Savino, this guy's got a voice like an angel. What do you think of this guy's voice? Uh, I don't know. I'm just asking you. I just, you know, I... I, uh, I this is Bobby, Bobby Clark, Clark Bobby. Where everything oh. old is oh, new again. Goodness. Yeah, the nostalgic look to the future. Yes, we're the nostalgia look to the future. Bobby's going to have a headache tomorrow, boy. You're talking about you. Head Bobby's going to have some headache, this Bobby Clark. You hear this guy? Bobby, we, you got, you're at the barbecue with the barbecue potato chips now? You can't have... You, Bob, Bobby, back off. Did I tell you that I was beaten up as a child very often? I was bullied. You were bullied there. I, I can understand why. I think it's a horrible, horrible thing to have happen. Look at the result. Look what happened to you, poor thing. What happened? You, you, who was it? Your father's friends? Was it your friends at a barbecue? Who was it? It was other children. Other children b yeah. b bullied you. Yes. I, I figure you're at a barbecue and the adults would kind of bully you to get away. Like this Bobby Clark here. You're like, you know, you kind of bully the guy. Please, Bobby, leave us. give us a break, you know? It was mostly little girls that would beat me up. They would. 
Yes. What did what did they want? Your money for uh, ice cream or something? What were they th- talking about? They just didn't like me. Yeah. Well, you never get to the point. Could you get to the point at some point in time? Maybe that's what it was all about. I forgot to go to the bathroom. Uh, but Leo, could you show him to the bathroom again, I, please? I wandered away. Oh, okay. we got a Savina. Paulie boy, you're going to give us a, a headache here, please. I'm getting a headache from Paul Savina. It sounds terrific. Don't get me wrong. But you gotta cut me a break. Change the song. Listen to him go. He's now this guy's got a nice cookbook, by the way. He knows how to cook. Paul Sovino's got a cookbook. Pino Pasta and Parties, it's called. Pino Pasta and Parties. Get that book. Listen to him go. He hits that high note, though. He hits the high note. Paulie, do me a favor. You need you deserve a nice drink for yourself. Go ahead. Please get a drink. Go ahead. Paulie. All right, thank you. Now Yeah, you want a drink too, Leo? Leo, the little kid, the little kid here, Leo. Nobody's watching these kids. They're making a way over to the show. I don't know what that's about. Okay, okay, I'm back. You're back now. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're doing a nice job. You're filling in for this uh, Cohen guy. Have you ever met this guy, Cohen? Oh, he's a bastard. He, uh, wh- wh- wow. That may, I may have to edit that out. Actually, I meant to edit the Fanduman. Now, why do you not like him so much? Well, I thought he was your buddy. He brought you on this show. What happened there? Oh, he's a he's a bad person. He is bad. Why is that? He, he uh, Does he drink your wine? He spiked the lemonade. Ah, with the hard lemonade. I found out he's the one that did it. He's got the hard... He brought the hard lemonade. Yeah. Why did he bring the hard lemonade? What's, what's with the hard lemonade? I think he's playing a joke on me because I feel pretty inebriated. You right? do. Why don't you go take a rest? We'll be back in a couple of seconds. We'll have a nice time with you, me, Paul Savina. And they got, uh, I don't know, some other private guests here. They got also got Peter Wellers Are here. Are those ribs ready yet? Uh, Bernie Capel. Yeah, get yourself a rib. Go ahead. I'd like to tell you to go swimming, but I don't know what happened there. All right, Paulie. What's that? I'd probably drown if I went swimming. All right, listen here. I got a bathing suit inside. I'll give it to you in the, in the break, all right? Have a good good afternoon. We'll be back. Everything old. It's new again. Now, back to America's Entertainment Pop Culture Talk Show. Everything old is new again with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Miss? Uh, what's the old 96er? Oh, that's our world-famous Paul Bunyan's Blue Ox Steak. It is a 96-ounce prime-aged beef steak. And if you or any member of your party orders the old 96er and finishes, everybody eats for free. Oh. <laughs> How about that? That's from the uh, the classic. I would suggest you. It's a classic movie. Dan Aykroyd and uh, and John uh, Candy. You ever see that? The Great Outdoors. I haven't had the pleasure. No. They love they they love that barbecue. They they're talking all about the barbecue. They barbecue nice uh, lobster. You know what I'm talking about? Lobster. You have a nice lobster for yourself. I'm, ever? I'm aware of lobsters. You, yes. you like a lobster? You don't like a lobster? I, I like lobsters. Yes. All right, this is I, everything old is new again. We're a <laughs> fondue guy and barbecue guy. What we're doing? We're taking over the bar. Barbecue for the second week in a row for these two, Viviani and Cohen. By the way, I see them over there. They're talking to Peter Weller, and they're talking to the amazing Kreskin. Have you seen this, this, this group here? Let's see what. Let's just get our microphone over there and see. Uh, Leo, take this microphone over there and see if you can just hear what these guys have to say. All right, let's just let's see what goes on. Let's hear. Hey, let's... it's Dr. Peter Weller. I'm here with my friends David Cohen and Douglas Viviani. But I, I, I would say this because of this spark and the chemistry you both have. You really touched on a, on a new idea. It's based on an old concept, but it's new and refreshing. And I, and I, even if you change and detour along the way, I really think that you have something that's going to awaken in people a refreshing intrigue. People will want to hear more about it, especially with what you're doing now is adapting it to the present. How about that, Dad? At Kreskin, we're just going to... Talking to, to uh, Peter Weller and having a little bit of uh, wine, it looks like, talking about our uh, I'd show there. I'd also like to thank the amazing Kreskin because he put some sort of whatever he did. I, I feel much better now. He I, is an I, amazing I, dude. I know. In the break, you told him you weren't feeling so well, and all of a sudden, he uh, he pulled uh, some kind of a, like a cockamamie, uh, I don't know, hitch- Hitchcockian, uh, hypnotistic type of uh, investigation of your mind there. He had you up against the wall and was talking to you, and uh, all of a sudden, you feel good. Let's get back to the recipes. Oh, you don't like that ref- reference there to the Hitchcockian bitches business there. All right, listen, everyone's going to go swimming in the pool. Let them go swimming. We got a little bit of a break here, Thanks, thankfully, from everybody else. I'm going to show you how to do that lobster that uh, Dan Acker was talking about. You want to do a nice split lobster on the barbecue. Yes or no? Let's do it. All right. What you're going to do 
You got to get yourself some olive oil, please. You got to get some lobsters, of course. And then you got some kosher salt and some black pepper, freshly ground, and some melted butter. That's all you need, okay? You're good with all that. And then some lemon wedges for serving. What you're going to do, the best way to kill a lobster is either put them in the hot water head first, boiling water. If you're doing it on a grill, what you do is you just take that knife and you cut it right down their head, right in the middle of their back, right down their head. You cut it and you're done. All right? It's then barbaric. It is barbaric. It's fun, though. And then what you do is you cut the lobster right in half. Put it on the grill. Let it cook there on the side of the, you know, I'm talking about skin or the scales or the hard part of the lobster. Put that on the barbecue. You got me so far? Nice flame, slow flame. Let it cook. You know how it turns. It turns from translucent to something beautiful. What you're going to do is you're going to pour on some of that olive oil a little bit. You're going to pour on that kosher salt and the ground black pepper and, of course, the butter. You put the, all that stuff in there while you're cooking, it'll flame up. Hey, watch that kid. Boy, oh boy, everybody's screaming about I mean, this is some party. Fondu, you wait. Yes, it's really turned into a spectacular event. It really is something. I, I'm time. waiting for you to get through the recipe. All right, so what you're doing it's taking here. taking a very long time. It is. What you're doing is you want to make sure that the butter is melted beautifully through this whole thing. When it's done, it, takes you, it only takes about 10, 15 minutes. Take it off. Serve it hot with a nice, you know those little those little forks, They're not like a, kind of like a fondue fork. You know what I'm talking about? Like yes. a little fork. A little, yes. You know the fork I'm talking about? Yes. The little it has two two little springs on it, two yes. little forks, and it's it, you know the fork. Yes. It's, it's a very small little fork. Yes. You, you know the one I'm talking about? Yes. And you you use that. It's a little fork. You know, yes. Leo. You know what I'm talking about? The fork, the little fork, and then you use that to eat your lobster. It's terrific. Don't you worry about it. It's all good. It, is. it actually tastes quite delicious. Yes. All right. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I think it's necessary that you... Wow. Let's listen to these kids for a little while. What are they saying? Whose kids are they? I mean, that Viviani's got his... That Angelica and they brought their friends over there. That Leo, their friends. Wow. There better be a lifeguard over there. That's all I can say. Oh, boy. I hope somebody's watching them. Now, Van Duman, let me ask you a question. You li- yes. You like yourself a nice uh, grilled pork chop? What about that? I would like myself a nice grilled pork chop. You like his, you would like your little grilled pork chop. Fandubin's not feeling so good. Take your pork chops, and what you want to do is you want to put some paprika on it. You want to put some tablespoons of sugar on it, some onion powder. Oh, what's going on with that kid? Somebody watch that kid, will you please? Holy smokes. Who's raising their hand? Who's going to watch that kid? Somebody? Anybody? You are. Go watch that kid. It's unbelievable what's going on with that kid. Screaming all the this time. This is Bobby uh, Bo- Clark for Bobby, everything do me a old favor. new again. Bobby. Yeah, the nostalgic right, look yeah, to the you. future. Bobby, watch the kid in the pool for me. Yeah, take another beer. Go watch the kid in the pool, please. You want some more chips? Go ahead. You can take the chips with you. But watch this. Watch the kid, please. Those chips are no good if you get them wet, by the way. Now, you want, you're going to make a nice sauce. You want to make a nice sauce for your pork chop. You ready? Very quickly. Ketchup. Water. Brown sugar, white sugar, pepper, onion powder, a little mustard, paprika, lemon, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, shosh, that apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of corn syrup. I know it's a lot of stuff. You mix all that together. Make it a marination. You put the grilled pork chops in there. You marinate them for a couple of hours in the freezer, refrigerator, whatever you want to do. You take them out. You throw them on the grill. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. It's oh, Look at how about that? Say it again. It's for now. Where do you get that from, Van Doomen? Where do you get? You're coming on over to the dark side. It's nice to see you doing that. Where did you get that from? I overheard Doug uh, Doug Viviani say that. He does say that on the yeah. show every so often. I've heard him say that. It's true. You're right. Uh, this is the kind of a thing. Uh, and and all I want to say to you is this: that Leo's here. What are you doing, Leo? How you doing, my man? You having a nice time for yourself? Yes or no? I uh, yes. Why, why are you having a nice time? What are you doing that's so much fun at the barbecue? You swimming? No. I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be back. With the, we'll talk about this kid in a, in a few minutes. He's got a lot going on, boy. But like, all I want to say is this. Fun do, guy. It's nice to see you enjoying yourself. That's what I like to hear about. Yes, I am quite. You're happy. having a nice time? I am. I'm feeling better after the previous... Uh, intoxication, and uh, I, I'm ready to go. Right, do me a favor. Go I talk have, to Peter Weller for a minute. I mean, I oh, I, 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 he's going to introduce himself. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I had more recipes, but okay. So just uh, let let the uh, I don't know, Bernie Capel say something. Bernie Capel, also known as Siegfried. You ever seen him, him on that Siegfried show? You understand? They get smart. Good. Yes. These yes, two. I have. Wow. These two are getting, they're getting along nicely. They're having a nice drink every so often. <laughs> nice oh, Bernie Capel, what are you doing with the burping like that? Von Duman, you have a burp like that? No. Why not? It's inappropriate. It might be something that's good for you. You don't make make you feel better. Hey, you didn't feel good? And what's that? Oh, no. Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, you go. Nice. Very good. He did. There it is. Okay. No, Leo, um, you're so silly, my man. Leo's at my, this guy, Leo, why did he, I can't get rid of this kid. Can't Viviani come over and, you know, grab him by the hand and take I, him over? He craves the spotlight, apparently. He does. Between him and Bobby Clark, I mean, we are got, we got our hands full here with these guys. I don't know what to say. All I know what to say is this. As far as I'm concerned, a barbecue is the best Best investment in time that you could ever have. You got yourself nice little lobster. You got the clams we did. We got the nice s'mores coming up later on. We got a nice peanut butter s'mores recipe. I got that one for you. So come on back and everything old is new again. By the way, if you're looking to find old shows, go to everythingoldisnewagain.biz. That's everythingoldisnewagain.biz. Why are you using the biz? What's that mean, biz? Yeah, what does that biz mean? What's it mean? I believe it's short for business. Okay, so instead of using uh, .org or the, the .com, it's, it's dot dot .biz. B -I -Z, Dr. Yes. Biz. All right, we'll be back right after this. Oh, uh, what? Who? Again with this? We'll be right back right after this. Everything all is new again. We're gonna... Oh, well, hold on, Leo. We'll be back. We'll be back. Everything's fun here at the barbecue. That's it. This is Everything Old is New Again, America's entertainment pop culture talk show with Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Meet the Mets, meet the Mets. Step right up and greet the Mets. Bring your kiddies, bring your wife. Guaranteed to have the time of... Oh, we're back here at Everything Old is New again with that Met theme song. Barbecue's always good room for a little bit of baseball. A ball game is nice to hear in the background. You got the swimming going on. You got a nice barbecue with the lobsters. You got the pork chops. We did a whole little thing there. That was nice. What do you think, uh, Fandumi? You sobered up a little bit? Yes, I'm feeling much better. And I have a, a really good recipe I'd love to uh, read to you. Leo, Leo, we've got this kid on my side here. Well, he's very, he's a curious little. He boy. really is. He wants to know everything about everything. All I want him to do is uh, go swimming in the pool with the kid, that Angelica. We Leo, please? would you like to hear my recipe for uh, toasted marshmallow, charred bread, and banana sticks with chocolate fondue? Oh boy, that's a mouthful! Wow, that's a, say it again. Toasted what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it like barbecue guy though. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Here we go. So you take your eight ounces of bittersweet chocolate. You chop it. You got a cup and a half. And then a cup of heavy cream right there. You got it? You got it? Uh, follow along now. And then three tablespoons of bourbon. It's optional, but I say let's do it anyway. I'll tell you what. You sounded terrific. Keep going. And for the skewers. Don't forget the skewers. You understand the skewers? I'm talking about skewers here. You got two rolls of skillet bread. I know what a skewer. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You, 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 skillet. you know what skillet bread is? You take your skillet bread. You cut it What bread? What? You cut it into, you shut up and listen to me. But what's a skillet? Uh, one and a half inch cubes. You got two ripe but firm, ripe but firm, but firm bananas. Ripe what? but firm. I'm not going to have to answer you like the fondue guy. Let's see what the fondue guy will respond to. Take yes. a bag of. <laughs> I know what I, I know what I. Take a bag of marshmallows. Marshmallows. I, a, I now have a headache. Then you basically put it on the floor, you stomp on it with both feet, throw it on a barbecue, oh, and there that, you go. That doesn't sound, that does not sound very appetizing to me. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to have a glass of wine, some Beaujolais, and a little fondue, and that's all I would like to have. Can I say that is the most intelligent statement I've ever heard you speak? Well, you just talked about some kind of a barbecue sticks with chocolate fondue. I didn't hear any fondue as part of that. I didn't I didn't hear any fondue. Did you hear about? I don't hear any fondue. I'm fondue man. I well, want to hear about fondue, but I didn't hear any fondue well, in the recipe. I was mimicking the barbecue guy, and therefore didn't mention fondue well, because it's too, it. it's too sophisticated. It's too sophisticated. It's too sophisticated for the barbecue guy. I would really. I feel sophisticated. I feel like I'm a little sophisticated. I have. I feel. Boy, if I could. Well, all right. Listen, I'd like to see the barbecue guy talk about. Uh, <laughs> Uh, some kind of like let's uh, the barbecue could do a peanut butter some more recipe. Oh, no, man. 
Yes, you sure are, Leo, you son of a gun. Holy smokes, he comes over, he is interrupting my fondue I'm waiting, I'm the fondue guy. He's interrupting the fondue guy all the time here. That's uh that's not very nice, Leo. You see the way he talks, the he, fondue I'm doing a nice imitation of the fondue guy, don't I? You're doing a better fondue guy than the fondue guy. I don't think anybody can listen to this show and hear me. No, I would stop fondue. right there. I don't think anybody could listen to this show, period. And then, and then if they hear me doing the fondue guy and then hear you doing fondue guy, which you are fondue guy, they're not going to tell the difference. They're going to think the barbecue guy's not here anymore. That's what's happening. I think you should bring back the barbecue guy. Well, why don't you do the barbecue, guys? I think you do a terrific imitation of this guy. All right, let's get back to the Bob barbecue. The barbecue. Are you listening to me? Shut up, kids. Where's Paul Sorvino? Okay, here we go. Fondue guy, you're an idiot. Was that good? <laughs> well, I could. Oh, oh, yo, you had to call back. I mean, you had to call back. I mean, this guy's singing all the whole time. Can we turn the radio with a ball game on instead of listening to Paul Savina? All he's doing, he, what? He can't, even Leo making, can't take it anymore. He's making the children cry. No, boy, it's like it's like nails on a chalkboard at this point. Boy, Savina, you sound great, but the same song. Oh, there we go, the big finish. I didn't like that big finish. That, all right, Leo, cool it. Cool it, man. Now, this yeah. is what I got to tell you. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you can't finish a barbecue up without peanut butter s'mores. You got to have some nice peanut butter s'mores. <laughs> you know what a peanut butter s'more is? If you hear a peanut butter s'more. It's s'more. A, a peanut butter s'more. What you do with the s'more is you got yourself eight large chocolate chip cookies. You know what's good, the chocolate chip one? Now you're sounding like Pumpkinhead. <laughs> well, I don't know who that pumpkin, I don't know who you're referencing, I don't yes, know what you you're do. talking you about. You know exactly what I And mean. then you got hot fudge ice cream. What about that? Hot fudge ice cream topping. You got a nice hot fudge topping. And then you got yourself large, large marshmallow. You got yourself a large marshmallow and the Reese's piece. That's a peanut butter some more. That is a peanut what butter some more. What you're going to do is you spread the four corkies out in the bottom. You put some fudge topping on it. You then put on the marshmallow. Then you put on the, the, the peanut butter cup, and you heat it up in the oven. Get yourself a nice, nice cookie, uh, like kind of a dish there, and you, you cook them in the oven for about, I don't know, whatever, 10, 15 minutes. You, you got yourself a peanut butter S'more that's going to kill. Everyone's going to love that. Do you think it. Samoans would like s'mores? A Samoan? I don't know. Uh, Bobby Clark, you want to ask? Bobby oh. Clark. But no, no. I want to ask him a question. New again. Bobby, stop. The nostalgic look to the, the future. I, I get you, Bobby. Oh, boy. Who's going to drive this guy home tonight? Not me, because I'm going to have more lemonade. I'm gonna, The hard lemonade? You're having the hard lemonade. The hard lemonade. Get yeah. the hard lemonade. Leo, why don't you have yourself a regular lemonade? He's going to have a hard lemonade. I understand that. I don't understand. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, it's almost time to go. Peter Weller, looks like you're on the way out. What are you saying here? Peter, what do you got to say for yourself? David Cohen, uh, yes. Douglas and Vianney, you guys are my new heroes, so I'll come back whenever you want. There you go. Thank you. Peter Weller, it's great great to have you at the barbecue. I know you're talking to those other guys, but I'm shaking hand on the way out. I'm having a nice time with uh, with the Peter Weller. He really made a nice uh, impression uh, on everybody, don't you think? Yes, he's a he's a true gentleman. Hey, really, Leo, you got to settle down over also, there, Leo. Here you go. Grow, and when I grow up, yes. I want to be a movie maker. For real? I want to be a dancer. Oh, you can be a dancer, Leo. Hey. Bye, everything old is new again, people. Everybody, bye, everything's going to be old, new again, again. All right, you know, you're saying goodbye, kids, but I got to tell you what, as far as I'm concerned, we got two or more minutes here. We got to have a nice little time for ourselves. Barbecue and Fandumen, if you're interested in hearing more of us, write old, new again at AOL.com. That's old, new again at AOL.com. If you don't want to hear from us, you don't want to, <laughs> don't send a note. <laughs> I don't want to hear a thing from you. If there's total silence, that's better than a nice uh, or an email. It doesn't sound so very good. Van Duman, what, are you having a nice time? Do you have a nice time at the barbecue? I did. I was feeling ill for a while, but I feel much better now, and I have some good recipes to take home. Excellent. Now, who's your favorite guest at the barbecue? Who would you have a nice time with there? Leo. Leo was Definitely a good kid, Leo. that Leo? Yes. All right. I, I understand. He I, showed me where the bathroom was several times. Well, what about the Bernie Capel with, uh, with uh, I don't know, this uh, Peter Weller? They had a nice time for themselves. They yeah, they, making they a circulation. seem to be very nice gentlemen. And then Savina gave us a nice little uh, marination every so often. He gave us the marination on the songs there. What do you think? 
It was a bit much. It was a bit much. Yes. He he doesn't he he does sing a, a un, un, uh, like solicited, to, if you will. And I'd like to have heard a different song, perhaps. Yeah, not, another song would be nice. That's very true. Uh, but listen, as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. Everything works out for the best. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Bernie. Anyway, good, good stuff. I really Keep appreciate. Coming it. at him, kiddo. All right, Keep I'm gonna, coming at him. Pleasure's all mine, kiddo. Uh, excellent. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay, you Thank too. You. Bye-bye. All right, that's Bernie Capel saying goodbye to Viviani on the way out of the barbecue. It's not so bad. What do you think of this guy? Wait, I'm thinking the video. Have you ever seen uh, Bernie Capel in his movies? Oh, sure. TV I, shows. I'm a I'm an ardent follower of Bernie's career. I'm you are. A video. Leo, go ahead. Take a video. I want to take a video of Paul Savina singing a nice song on the way out. What I'm going to say is for Paul's concern, Pino Pasta and Parties. That's Pino Pasta and Parties. You got to get your hand, hand on that book. It That's going to teach good. you a lot. Pino Pasta and Parties. You know what I'm Pino Pasta and Parties. You understand what I'm saying? Paul, what do you have to say? All right. All right, go. Everything is all the still again. We'll be back. I know. Everybody wants this. Well, Leo, it's okay. We'll be back after this. Everything goes new again next week. The type is later. Paul Savine is still singing. We'll be back next week. Everything old is new again with the best of pop culture. Van Dumen, you want to say goodbye? You want to just fall off the couch there? What are you doing? Goodbye, all. <laughs> uh, all I can tell you is that, I, I, you know, when that imitation, when you're doing that imitation, it's the highest form of flattery. I got to tell you, I enjoyed it. I thought it was very nice. Thank you. I guess that's it. <laughs> you going to say thank you back? You going to say anything I to me? You, I, I thought you cut me off. Um Yes, it, uh, it it was enjoyable. I'm I'm glad you enjoyed the impression I did of you and I. Enjoyed this is Bobby Clark for boy. everything old is new again and the nostalgic look to the future. Who's peeing? Who's peeing? Are you still peeing? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, who's eating? I don't know. It's a. It's a. I don't know who's eating.